This is a rusty how-to video. These are the steps I take to weather my models and show rust. Here I'll show you the materials, the steps, and everything you need to know to achieve your own. Here's some of the products I'll use for this paint job. Excuse the can, but it's Rust-Oleum 2 times Cover, Rust-Oleum Rust Metal Primer, a cheap off-brand hairspray, Tester's Dull Coat, and of course Model Master's Rust Color. Some of the tools are a dry brush and a Q-tip. These are the tools I use to achieve this paint job. This is the body I will be doing the rust paint job on. Notice I added some styrene in there just to give me something to hold on to. But this will be the before. First step, take your paint can. Now, I've already pre-shaken this can, so we'll speed up the process. Nothing too heavy. Now, I like to speed up the process a bit. Put the heat gun. Don't get too close to the model. set for about 30 minutes to an hour just so I know the primer is good and dry. All right this body is dried for about 30-35 minutes. Now we're going to move on to the hairspray step. What this does is create a barrier between the rust-oleum and the, the color paint of your choice. And we're just going to spray it on liberally. Cover the whole body and where you want to uh, get your rust. This smells good. We have covered okay guys we gotta let that dry for oh I think this will go for about 10 to 15 minutes all right it's been about 15 minutes and if you notice the hairspray still got like a shine to it and it's real random that's what we want that's what we want to achieve our effect now comes on to the color spray. I've chosen a turquoise, a satin, I like it. Of course, take your can. Never skip this step, very important. Okay, at this point, the body, the paint, the hairspray, everything's set for about three hours. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy brush. This is a Army Surplus brush. I get these. I get them about five pack. I'm going to dip it in some water. Let it sit there for a minute. I'm going to take the body off here. Take a wet brush here and just start doing some little scrubbing. Also, don't be afraid to get a little rough sandpaper after it, just to get them lines that you're looking for. I like it right around the bottom. And I'm just lightly sanding this. You can see it's, it's pouring it up pretty good. 
again, I just want to go light with this particular one. I'm not going to show a lot of, super lot of rust, but I, I definitely want it to look weathered and used. Again, we'll go on that bottom there. You can see that I'm bleeding through to some of the styrene, and that's okay. We'll touch that up with our Model Masters rust color. That'll give us a couple different colors for this. Take a water here. Go back over. Lots of scrubbing. Lots of scrubbing. All right, now our body's dried. As you can see, there's still some shiny spots, some glisten, some real scratch scuffs. We're going to go ahead and go through with our Model Masters rust color now. And I got a real um, loose brush, if you will. Uh, this helps me with the, the randomness. Of course, we're going to do a dry brush technique on it, so I'm going to get a lot of that paint off. Take the body here and spots where I've bled through to the styrene, I'm going to touch it up a little bit. Now, on to the next step, our uh, tester's dull coat. I did a video about this earlier, but you'll get to see it in action. you notice the body's still got a bit of a shine to it in different spots where we don't want that because that's not what a rusty vehicle looks like. So, i give it a few coats of dull coat. Love this stuff. Now, we're going to let that sit for about an hour, let it dry, and you'll see the shine is knocked down. Still see a little bit like right there, but we'll hit her with another coat and she'll be good. Get the camera to focus. And that's it, folks. That's how you achieve the weathery, rusty paint job. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next video. Thank mm -hmm. you.